Hey everybody and welcome to another piano video here at Miriam Pianos. My name is Stu Harrison. Let's talk about sustained pedals. Uh, this is an accessory that's virtually, uh, like you need this if you are going to play the piano. It's the most uh, standard type of pedal or accessory uh, that any uh, pianist or keyboardist uses. And of course the function of the sustain pedal uh, is to activate the sustain function. You press it down with your foot, it basically mimics what the right pedal does on an acoustic piano, uh, which is to allow all strings simultaneously to sustain without being dampened. So you press that down and any note that you play, even once you release the key, that note kind of keeps ringing for a period of time. It's not indefinite uh, and the better the keyboard, the more accurately it, it sort of uh, manages that taper. Uh, but on a real piano, of course, uh, it's going to be 45 seconds, 50 seconds or so uh, that that string might just continue to resonate for. So anyway, that is the function of the sustain pedal. But all sustain pedals are not created equal. The most basic type of sustain pedal that you're going to get out there is that little square piece of plastic that skates all over the floor. You have to tape it down. It really is just a basic on or off and they don't really last that long. You punch them and punch them and punch them and eventually they kind of just break. They're very inexpensive. You can get these things for $10, but they do do the trick in a pinch. And that's often the type of pedal that is included with instruments in the $500 range or uh, less. There's a few exceptions to that, but there is sort of a barrier where everything underneath a certain price point, you're getting these plastic sustain pedals. They're really just plastic switch pedals. Uh, and they, they do the trick. They activate or deactivate the sustain function on a digital piano. The next type of damper pedal you're going to get uh, is one where the, the housing on the pedal is much more robust. The pedal itself is usually made of some type of steel or white metal. Uh, the spring mechanism inside is designed to mimic the resistance that you would get on a real piano. Um, and these are going to plug into a digital piano and, and give your foot, well, just the whole musical experience a little more authenticity uh, and longevity. Those pedals are usually uh, more heavy duty. They will take uh, much more abuse than those little pedals. Uh, and up until probably about five, some of them you could get even 10 years ago, uh, but five years ago, uh, they really still were just either on or off. Um, so it was a basic, uh, you know, it was basic either circuit open, circuit closed situation, but the build quality was better. And there's tons of those out there and you can get those types of pedals for 30 bucks, 40 bucks uh, and up from there. More recently, manufacturers have been shipping and supplying what they call damper pedals with half pedal function. What does half pedal function mean? Well, on an acoustic piano, because it's, it's mechanical and because your foot has control over this, there's actually quite a bit of nuance that, is, that you're able to get out of the instrument when you're only pushing the pedal down part way or releasing it slowly. You can, you can sort of uh, control some very subtle effects that the dampers can give you as they're either slightly unmuting or slightly muting the string rather than like a off or a you know back on the string. And so that's usually referred to as half pedaling. Most of the major manufacturers now offer this on all of their professional models or even anything in the semi-professional range, you know, $500 and up, uh, a lot of the models will now accommodate half pedaling. You do have to check the specs to make sure that's possible, but they are there. Moving on from there, you get into these big three pedal things. And this is uh, usually now becomes um, manufacturer specific and instrument specific because the connectors uh, become uh, proprietary in a lot of cases. Uh, so these are floating three pedal units that have the left pedal or unicorda, the center pedal or the sostenuto and the right pedal which is the damper, the sustain pedal. Um, and I've seen some of these connect with three separate quarter inch uh, plugs. I've seen some of them connect uh, with uh, sort of little mini five pin din uh, or you know six or seven pin din things. Uh, I've seen some of them uh, connect with uh, sort of older style uh, wiring harness type connections. Uh, these are incredibly specific to the model as I said in the manufacturer. So do not think for a moment that any of those three pedal systems are compatible or cross compatible with anything else. Often these are uh, specific accessories that are built for the instruments that they match up with. 
That pretty much sums up all of the different types of damper sustain pedals that you're going to find out there for digital pianos. Uh, of course, on a home digital piano, you often have the built-in pedal assembly that's the triple pedal thing, but we don't really think of that as a as separate damper pedal or an accessory. So anyway, hope this has helped. Hope it's shed a little bit of light on this whole damper pedal thing. If you're out there and just wondering whether there are options for you, yes, there are in a lot of cases options other than uh, just what the manufacturer provides. So happy researching. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Please do subscribe if it's the first time that you've been by. We'd love to see you back for more videos. Take care and we'll see you next time.